The law. My partner is complaining I'm not being supportive. What does it mean to be a supportive partner? <laughs> Excellent. All right. Now, you see, to be a supportive partner, it means you have to do these few things I'm going to tell you. Now, firstly, to be a supportive partner, you have to create time to listen to your partner. You know, engaging in conversations goes a long way because an individual who must have been listening to would feel relieved because a problem shared is half solved. When your partner listens to your problem, whether or not he or she does not even engage into it to resolve it or to create a solution for it, you feel there's this sign of relief. You feel encouraged. You feel supported. You know, you there's your mind is at peace. So communication is very key. The first step to supporting your partner is to go out, create time to have healthy conversation. That is on one part. Now, secondly, it is very important for you to engage in stress-free conversation. Now, when they say stress-free conversations, are those conversations that ease stress. Everybody who is in a relationship definitely has something to offer. You know, you are trying to make that relationship work because a relationship has to do with two people who are putting in effort. The very moment one person decides not to put in effort, that relationship will start to crumble. So it is very important to you engage in stress-free conversations, conversations that are not demanding, conversations that are not financially demanding, conversations that leads to growth. Ask yourself questions. What do you want to be in the next two years? Ask yourself, how is your business doing? Ask questions. Ask your partner questions. Tell your partner what you want. This is the question you ask. Ask your partner, what do you need? Whether you are a man or a woman, ask the other person, what do you need? Now, you on the other side, your response should be very reasonable. Respond to something which your partner can afford. Sometimes when they ask you what you need, it doesn't mean you must call something that is financially demanding. No. Sometimes you can tell your partner, I want us to start a business. I want us to go to church. I want us to start exercise. I want us to cook together. These things are things that will bring about love. They are not all about finance. Now, you need to understand that engaging in healthy conversations are so paramount. And understand that in a relationship for you to be supportive, you must have time. Create time. Affection is key. Create that enabling atmosphere. If you do that, partners will remain so solid. It is more like an entity. Businesses grow because there's unity and understanding. They share both the gains and what? The risk and the lose. This is the same thing when it comes to a relationship. Be a su supportive partner. That's the only way you can enjoy your relationship. And this can bring an end to divorce and what? X. X, it's no good. All right. Lifetime with Lex. Cheers for now.